in today's video, we will set it all up on our mobile phone and also check the features which are available in the Decent Wallet app. In this video, we'll dive deeper into the world's first biometric crypto hardware wallet, which is the Decent Wallet. And of course, the biometric feature, so unlocking a device or confirming some transactions with our fingerprint, of course, adds a really nice security layer on our assets. Okay, so when we scan the QR code, we'll get to a landing page where it's really detailed, everything written, initial setup, how to connect to an Android phone, iOS phone, and also how to do the firmware update. And if we click on initial setup, you will see it's really, really detailed with videos, with graphics and text. So it's really convenient to set those up even if you are new in the space and you don't know how to do things, you will guide your work. So now let's switch on the device. So on this device, we have here a power button. We have four buttons here, up, down, left and right. And also in the middle, we have the fingerprint sensor. Unfortunately, the device was not pre-charged before, so I quickly had to get a wire to charge. So after we can just press on this power button here for a few seconds and we can select our language. We have English, we have Korean, we have Chinese and Spanish. Let's select English, just click on OK. You should always create a wallet, in my opinion. Recover wallet is only if you already had a decent wallet, for example, but got damaged or whatever it is, and now you want to access your funds again. But you could also use the recover wallet function when you already had a hardware wallet, but you switched to the decent wallet, for example, from the ledger due to the some security concerns. You can also enter your seed phrase from your ledger to this device and set everything up. However, I do not recommend that you are migrating your old hardware wallet to the new one if you change it for security reasons. And actually I made an entire video about it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, just check out my other video. So now let's create a wallet together. And then we have to enter a pin and the pin has to be four digit at least, but it can be up to eight. So it's totally up to you. For now, I'll leave it as a dummy pin. Now the security level is pretty low due to this and it asked me if I really want to continue. So just use a better pin as me. So don't use one zero, one, two, three or one, two, three, four, not four times the same. I'll leave it for now for testing purposes. Then we have to verify our pin. So enter them once again. And after it's asking us for our fingerprint and we also can't skip this feature. So of course it's a biometric wallet and if you are not interested in biometric wallet and adding a fingerprint to this device, I'll highly recommend you to look out for another hardware wallet. However, if you find it a really nice security feature, then definitely check out the Decent Wallet more in depth. So now we simply place our finger or thumb or any finger you want to on this small square here and lift it up and do it a couple of times. I'll recommend to use always a little different angles so that your entire finger is really covered on this. And now the device is going to show us the C phrase, which we need to write down, for example, here on this recovery sheet, which we got delivered. However, I do not recommend you to write it down on this sheet. I mean, for the initial purpose on setting up, it's okay. But after I'll recommend you to use a metal plate or something else because these papers, of course, they're not waterproof, they're not fireproof or anything. And something happens with this sheet, you just lost your entire funds. So definitely check out some other storage for your seed phrase. And I'll also link you a few of them down below in the description. So you have better, better options to store your seed phrase. Now it is showing us the recovery list. It's 24 worth in total and just write it down. Click on next always. And once you're done, it's asking you if you already wrote down everything. So we confirm this. And after this, we have to enter our words, which honestly can be quite time consuming and a little bit annoying because like we don't have any touchscreen or similar, but we really have to do it like manually. And now we have to get through all these letters by ourselves. However, those letters which are not available will not be displayed here at all, which makes the workflow a little bit easier because these seed phrases, they are only based on 2048 words from the dictionary, which can be chosen. So it's still limited and that's why not every word is available, which 
So it's not any fully random word, but still it's like kind of time consuming here. So I will just confirm my seed phrase and then I'll be right back. And what you can already see here is that it's a really nice portfolio here. So in the app, you can see how many percentage you're holding in Bitcoin, Ethereum or any other coins or token, which I really love about it. After it is asking us if we already know Decent Wallet or have a Decent Wallet. So we are selecting no. So we are getting some more onboarding and help from the app. So after this, you will also see that you can select different wallet types. It's the app or software wallet, a biometric wallet, but also a card wallet. And for the card wallet, you can see here, it does look like a credit card or a debit card, bank card, and it comes in different designs. This is something we could also buy and it's based on uh, NFC. So in case you're getting this kind of NFC crypto card, it's simple that you're just using the card then and you would just hold it on your phone and it will actually confirm the transaction. However, we are going to choose the biometric wallet and after this we will have to set up a password or some pin and this is based on six digits. It is not the same pin as we have on our hardware device. And also here you cannot choose if it's like only four, but it has to be six digits. And after this we can select if we want to use the biometric authentication or not on the app. So it's not on the hardware device. So on the hardware device, you have to use the biometric authentication on the app or for the app access. You can choose if you want to have the biometric authentication or not. So I will personally enable it. And then it will ask us to set up some permissions for uh, location, access to the camera and so on. And unfortunately we have to allow this so we cannot disable it, which is a little con, but um, yeah, I'll just do it quickly. So in order to connect the hardware wallet with our smartphone app, we need to switch on the hardware wallet and we go to settings and select Bluetooth. And then we have to select if we either have an Android or an iOS device. So in my case, I have an Android device. So there it is now showing us the name of the wallet or the ID number of the wallet and also a pin code. With this, we have to go to our Bluetooth settings in our mobile phone and search for the device, which you will find here in available devices. You will find it's my Decent wallet with the ID 59978. So here you can cross check that it's really the correct number and the correct ID. So to avoid any misconfiguration and if it's correct, just click on it and enter your pin code. So as soon as it's connected, then actually it's already set up. You will find it on your paired devices. And after this, you simply go back to your app and it might take a few seconds and it will auto connect and load all the details. However, if for some cases it will not automatically connect, which you find in the left hand corner when the red buttons turn green. So if this is not the case, then please just close the app and open them again. So it's not necessary to deinstall it, just close it and open it again. This was helpful for me when I set my wallet up. Now our wallet is set up. However, we cannot see any coins or tokens yet. So how we do it is we just click here on add account and then we, for example, could add Bitcoin over here. We can name our account as we want to. I will leave it as per default and we can create it. It is taking a little time now, but then here we go. We have our Bitcoin wallet set up. We could even set up a second Bitcoin wallet if we want to. Um, we just do the same again. You can name your account again as you want to for different projects or maybe you have some Bitcoins which you want to hodl and some they are for trading. So you can have multiple wallets in here and you could create it. However, um, if you have an unused Bitcoin account, it won't be possible, but you need to use the accounts first. So you can create a new wallet for the same coin. So now when we want to receive some tokens, we could just click on the coin, go on receive, and then we have our QR code and also the um, address, which we could just copy or we can show someone our QR code, of course. First four and the last four letters or numbers and digits. So you 
can cross check always all letters and numbers are fully copied and you're not missing any and then you're assets will be lost right then you also have in the app the detailed history so all your transactions will be displayed there with the hashes and everything uh, which is also really nice made then you have in the app also an nft section where you can buy your nfts from OpenSea or sparkles or somewhere you want to write in the app so it's built in but also when you have some nfts you will be able to visually see them and this is how it would look for you here you can see that um, this person had two nfts so even the number here is displayed but also you can visually see them then you have the discovery section and there's where all the d apps are running so you can buy cryptocurrency right in the decent wallet app you can exchange them you can swap them of course you also have uniswap you have urine finance and also one inch exchange and everything so however if you have some D apps which are not visible here, you can also search or type them over here. So it's really, really easy and convenient to browse through D apps. Lastly, you have a manager. So this manager here, you can switch to the wallet. So as I said, they have a biometric wallet, card wallet, and also the software wallet. So you don't need to have different apps, but you can just switch it in here. They have a decent uh, academy where they explain what is a blockchain, what is decentralized, how does the coin burning works and everything in here. So also really nice for beginners who still want some education on it. And also you will see here the firmware version of your hardware wallet and as we just unpack the wallet it's not fully up to date so maybe i'll take you with me when i do the update if you're interested in it just let me know down below in the comments and lastly you also have some settings where you can enable some testnet change your password change the language or even the currency that your assets are displayed now let's quickly also have a look on the features on the hardware wallet itself it actually only has account settings and that's it. When we go with an account, you will see all the coins which you have on your app also. So in this case, I only have Bitcoin right now. So you, you can see your infos about your Bitcoin address. You can see the name of your Bitcoin address, of course, how you named it. You can see your full address, but you can also display the QR code in case you want to receive some funds. So now if we go on our app and we are hiding the account, then you will see that also in your hardware wallet the bitcoin address is disappeared however if you still have funds on this address it is not lost it's just not visible and you could at any time go back to add account search for the account you just deleted and add it again so your funds will always be with you so now one thing which i find really nice is settings um, of course you have bluetooth you can change the language but i want to go through the security and there you can change the pin you can add another fingerprint as said you can delete your account you can delete some fingerprints but also you can add a 25th hidden seed phrase word and the 25th hidden word is a big security feature also if you want to know more about it just let me know in the comments i will do a dedicated video for you explaining you what it is but also how to set it up on the decent wallet so that's it for now please let me also know in the comments what you think about the decent wallet do you like it or not what are your questions do you maybe have some security concerns just write everything down below and then i will answer it for you or i'll make another dedicated video on the decent wallet and how you can master the world's first biometric crypto hardware wallet. And if you're interested in getting one of the decent wallets, don't forget to use the link down below in the description for one pack or two pack so you can get some nice discounts on it. Yeah.